Hi, welcome to Adventure RV Group here in Napa, California. We got the new 2022 Gray Wolf in. This is a 26 DBH. And let me tell you about a few of the differences and also just things that I didn't make time for in our other videos. Gray Wolf is a little bit different than your average aluminum build travel trailer. They're really trying to figure out how to make something that outlasts the jiggles down the road, the flexing, you know, rainy season, water damage, things like that. They're trying to go above and beyond while keeping your price contained. So on this, this diamond plating and this aluminum fold here, they've actually layered a level of Darko, which is going to make it that if you get some, I don't know, it had to be a pretty big or fast flying rock that cracked this material, you actually have a protective layer of Darko that's going to prevent it from reaching your floor if water were to get it. Over here, I know we always talk about storage, but I'm gonna bring it up again. Storage is key. I'm able to fill this up whether I'm leaving for two days or two weeks. Uh, really great storage inside of there. Your electric awning here is and has been a great feature on the Gray Wolf for years, but we've gone to the blue lights, LED lights, that's gonna attract less bugs and it sure makes it feel like a party out here. One of the new features that I really wanna debut is this grill. They make it so that you can have a griddle that fills right over on the top and I do have that to show you right in here, dun, dun, dun. And if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> the bacon that I've had off griddles is the best ever. And it just makes it fun. You can do burgers with that spread out cooked cheese or whatever you wanna do on here. Even a fish fry would work out really, really well. Um, your ice maker, I will always mention these. I'm a little jealous. I haven't gotten one on my travel trailer yet, but I'm definitely going to. It will make an entire bottle of water in seven minutes into ice cubes. It's really, really great to have, especially on those hot days that you can't keep up with melting ice. This is pretty handy. Having your outside shower here also keeps it so you can, you know, rinse off dishes and anything else, rinse your hands off. And of course, your outside refrigerator for, oh, actually now I've learned something. So if you're using the griddle, <laughs> You're gonna to have to remove it to get to the outside fridge. The more you know. So while you're cooking, you're probably gonna to wanna to have your outdoor speakers playing your favorite, you know, jams, whether it's cocktail hour or just waking up, you can put on some nice hymnals or something. <laughs> this is a spot for your outdoor TV in case the Giants win the World Series and you are camping with your family building memories. You can bring your TV from the inside out and you can set it all up so that you don't miss a home run by Posey, hopefully. Down here, these are the upgraded tire or, uh, wheels. I love the way they look, but on top of that, they've got these really clever little, um, what are they called? The pressure, pressure valves. When they're good to go, they're gonna show green. When they're no longer good to go and safe to drive, they're gonna show a little bit red. I love that feature. And if we come on back here, notice the glass doors. These are all the rage. People love the way they look. Uh, very fine finish work. I really like them. Back here, you can put your dog back here or your least favorite child. <laughs> and the back luggage rack, I love this. I always bring too much stuff. You can put dog crates, you can put wood, you can put a uh, generator, anything else you can imagine on the back here. As long as you don't go too heavy, 200 pounds if you keep the spare tire on, 240 pounds if you take this and put this somewhere else. And then back here, you've got the backup camera. The backup cameras, you know, simple backup camera. You've got, you, you'll be able to see when you're backing up although I still recommend sending out your spouse or you know teenage children to tell you if you're gonna hit the fence or the house. <laughs> Let's see, should we make it all the way around? We will, because this is what I call the bonus storage. A lot of travel trailers will only give you, will only give you the front pass-through storage, and this is such a good spot for 
your sewer kit, your tiki torches, anything that has to do with parking the unit, this can all go back here. It doesn't have to be super easy access. And then while you're setting up at the dump station, you've got a work light. You can use your outdoor shower, check your connections, hook up to cable TV. That's all back here. Another thing I like to bring up is the hot water heater. Still just as good as ever. It'll recycle your hot water in 20 minutes. And it also has the propane operation or the electric operation. I like that because things do go wrong. And while you're out camping, you want less reasons to have to pack up and go home. Having both options will keep you out there longer. Come on around here. Again, extra bonus storage. It's probably not gonna be unlocked. Nope. But it's just a short little storage in here. Should have kept my key out. <laughs> ah. There we go. Every little spot counts. I've actually seen customers fill this up very well. It holds more than it looks. Okay, we'll leave that unlocked. Come on around here. And I'll take you for a little tour of the inside. So if you notice in the bedroom, they used to give you just one light up on the ceiling. And now they've added the two lights here for reading lights and also just extra light in the bedroom in general. Every once in a while, it does help to be able to see a little bit more, whether you're trying to get that splinter out, <laughs> been there, done that. Also, they do put doors on the storage up above the bed. That's something that I see in other trailers where it's left wide open. And this is such a valuable place for socks and you know swimsuits and anything else you can imagine up there, along with your two sides here for hanging clothes, jackets, anything like that. And over here, they do offer a accessory. It's a Bluetooth speaker and also it doubles as USB ports for charging station. Gray Wolf is awesome about adding YouTube, uh, sorry, USB ports for charging around all of the sleeping areas. So like you'll notice on the back bunk beds, they'll have USB ports. Now you don't have to pick your favorite child to get the charging station. <laughs> Come on over. Our favorite part to point out down here again is for storage. You've got so much space. I don't even know you, I don't even think you'd know how to use it all. And not to mention Gray Wolf's unique design for their zebra, zebra blinds. Those work great, really keeps the light out when you want it to be nice and cool inside. And notice our blue LED lights up here. I love it. This is a great night light for your kids. It is great party lighting and being an LED strip, it's gonna use a whole lot less battery power. They're sticking to the farm style sink. I love it. Uh, really is a lot more feasible to clean out the spaghetti pot or the crab boiling pot. And it makes it really easy to reach around. And don't forget your hand sanitation station. <laughs> The 10 cubic foot refrigerator in these is quite handy. You can never bring enough food or beverages on a camping trip. And this will allow you to store everything you need. <laughs> Careful, it'll get you. <laughs> uh, the pantry space. The 26 DBH has actually changed the industry with this pantry. I call it, it's very fifth wheel like. Um, 26 dbh started doing this and all the brands kind of fell in line afterwards copycatting this down here you have your battery disconnect switch that's going to disconnect the coach from the battery on the front during storage it's going to keep your battery life a lot better over the years um, anytime you can disconnect in storage it's going to keep your battery from draining which is going to last longer and the bunks gray wolf just like the usb charging stations they're actually making sure that both kids have a window so that you don't feel like it's too dark in there. That's a big deal when you're sleeping in this little tiny area. So both bunks have a nice place where most kids can sit up in. And not to mention, they do give you the ladder to get to the top. So many of our bunks out there don't actually offer the ladder. 
and Gray Wolf is thinking about those things for your kids. And then in here, you do have the tub surround. This is something, there's lots of space in here with the skylight. The tub surround is something that so many manufacturers leave off and I feel so much better spraying the water in here knowing that I have some protection. And very spacious, the large basin. You do have a nice sink in here. That's another thing I see in our competitors is they give you like a tiny little sink that you can wash one hand at a time. This one you can actually take, wash your face and it doesn't necessarily fall out everywhere. And of course they're giving you a nice size medicine cabinet. That's something that I've seen in the Grey Wolves and the Wolf Pups, their little series. They always give you a pretty decent amount of medicine cabinet space. So that's the new stuff on the 26 DBH. Come on down and we can talk about it more. Like and subscribe to our videos.